So the tying run is at second. The run that would win the World Series is at first, and Joe Carter is the batter. Now the 2-2. Two -two. Well hit down the left field line. Way back and Joe Carter with a three-run homer. The winners and still world champions, the Toronto Blue Jays. Utley on his way to third. It's a two-run game. Strikeout number five for Carlton. Chop to third. Play at the plate. Phillies take game three. Howard's homers are here. Well hit. Is that number five? Oh, it is out of here. 50th home run of the year for Ryan Howard. Well, that's, could this be another one? Could this be? It is way out of here. Number 51. Oh, my. Did he get it up? Mm -hmm. He sure did. That's three for Ryan Howard. Strike pitch. Hot smash. Pass Aikens in the right field. Schmidt can run. He's running hard. He's running third. They're going to try to score him. Here comes the throw. They'll not get him with time. Off the glove. Red will have to make the play. Not in time. Phillies lead. Trio. Lines went off. Wizenberry. Struck him off. And now the Phillies head back to Philadelphia, leading in this series three games to two. Alan Wines, the 2 1 pitch. Swing a long drive! Deep left field, a grand slam! The Phillies have won the game 10 to 9! Unbelievable! OT has a grand slam home run! At number 16, we go to August 21st, 1990. On this day, the Phillies were taking on the Dodgers in Los Angeles, but trailing 11-1 heading to the 8th inning. Facing an abject defeat, the Phillies fought back, rallying for 2 runs in the 8th and 9 runs in the 9th to push ahead 12-11. The gang hung on to win in the bottom of the 9th, completing their incredible comeback. The Phillies' win expectancy in this game at one point fell to 0.01%, making this not only the biggest comeback win in club history, but tied for the biggest comeback win in all of baseball history. Number 15. There's a well hit ball, deep left field, that might go. It is a home run for Rick Wise's second of the game. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Swing a line drive, he did it! That's way back there. Back she goes. Wow, another home run. The mighty Philadelphia Phillies overpowering the Cubs in the very first inning. And now taking a 6 to nothing lead. There's a high fly to left. That's pretty deep back there. The wind's got it. Home run. So now the score of the ball game is Philadelphia 15, the Cubs 6. There's a high fly to left. Look out now. Look out. It's gone. It's a home run by Schmidt. Oh, brother. And now the Phillies lead in this ball game by a score of 23 to 22. And that's it. The ball game is over. One of the greatest games anybody has ever seen anywhere. At number 13, we have the gang clinching the National League pennant in 1915. Their championship was secured on September 29th by Grover Cleveland Alexander's one-hit shutout of the Boston Braves. Although they would end up losing the World Series in five games to the Red Sox, the Phillies' 1915 pennant clincher makes it on our list because it was the first National League pennant in the club's history. The Phils would have to wait 35 years for their next flag. Number 12. The one-two pitch. Hit toward third. Castro has it. Spins. Fires. A perfect game! Roy Halladay has thrown the second perfect game in Philadelphia Phillies history! Stairs rips one into the night. Deep into right. Way out. 
out of here. And Philadelphia gets a pinch hit, two run shot, and the Phillies lead seven to five in the eighth. Bills are one out away from the National League pennant and a trip to the World Series. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Phillies are the 93 National League champions. Not only is Bunning after a no-hitter, he's after a perfect ball game. Struck him out, a perfect game, a perfect game for Jim Bunning. Here come his teammates. Oh, what a happy scene for the Bills and Jim Bunning. A former first-round pick back in 95 by Toronto, but this is his first postseason game. And away we go, a bouncing ball to Jimmy Rollins. One pitch, one out. Man, oh man, Roy Halladay locked and loaded here early. Got him. Roy Halladay, seven no-hit innings. A bouncer, Ruiz. In time! Roy Halladay has thrown a no-hitter! At number seven, we are going to the last game of the 1950 season. On October 1st, the Phillies, who stood in first place in the National League with 90 wins, took on the second place Dodgers, who had 89 wins, in Brooklyn. A Dodger win would leave the two rivals tied for first and would force a three-game playoff series. The two clubs battled hard and entered extra innings tied at one. That's when Phillies hero Dick Sisler delivered a three-run opposite field home run to propel his team ahead. The Phil hung on to win, maintaining their first place status and capturing the second pennant in their history. The 1950 Phillies, nicknamed the Whiz Kids, are one of the most celebrated rosters in the team's encyclopedia. This magical team featured the prime seasons of stars like Robin Roberts, Richie Ashburn, Del Ennis, and MVP Jim Constanty. Number 6. 299 wins, lifetime, 199 losses for the big left-hander. Got him with a breaking ball, struck him out. Trying to win his 300th game is adding to his strikeout total. Swing and a miss, and that's a dozen he's fans now. Swings and strikes out, and that's the 300th career win for Steve Carlton. Here's the stretch by Robinson, the 3-0 pitch. Swing and long drive! There it is! Number 500! The career 500th home run for Michael Jack Smith! And the Phillies dugout comes swarming out to home plate! Got him looking! Cole Hamels is rolling and so are the Phillies. Garcia Parra pops it up. Ruiz says he's got it. The Phillies win the pennant. It's a fair ball down the line. Pujols with his sore foot. Here's the throw. Pujols coming to the plate. He is out. Ground ball, trio over. Suddenly yesterday, the defenses became flawed. They are anything but that today. Gary swings, it's a base hit. Run scores from third, Unser. To give Philadelphia the lead, eight to seven in the top of the 10. He hits it to right center field. Maddox going, it's over. The Phillies win it. Second two out, and Iwamura grounds one up the middle. Ugly, good play. Throws home, and out is the call to end the inning. Infield in, and a ground ball up the middle. Base hit. Pedro Feliz delivers. 4-3 Philadelphia. The 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. The Philadelphia Phillies are 2008. World Champions of Baseball! And let the city celebrate! First pitch, and Mike Smith has drilled his fourth straight home run. The strike one pitch to Rose. Bounce to the hole, there it is!
There's the fastball driven by Lieberthal to left field, and the Phillies win it. He's got a triple hole. Whoa, Jimmy Rollins with that big 20th triple of the year. Jamie Moyer at the age of 47 has thrown a two-hit shutout. Oh, my God. Deep to right field. Way up there and way out of here. It's popped up. Boom. Rose. They'll have a play. The crowd will tell you what happens. I'm the trash man.